puked. All right, you get one fault though. You get one fault. Zero, zero, serve two. You're the bad guy today, all in black. Don't, don't try to like butter me up by wearing my line. Okay? I still know what you're doing here. You still love me. Welcome to Battle of the Sexes part two. Episode Last week. Two. Episode two, yeah. Yeah, not, not part, part two. two. Episode two. It makes it sound Damn like it. Too Let's do that again. Welcome to Battle of the Sexes episode two. We're coming at you live from the my kitchen. kitchen. Babe, are you eating string cheese? Can we just can we just show you guys this real fast? Where's the dog at? Hobbs has this sixth sense for when string cheeses are being opened and he will literally hear it and come running in. I don't know where he's at. He's not in here anywhere. So let's see this. I'm gonna open one. Here, come with me. Come 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 with me to the kitchen. He's all the way over there. Look what happens. I'm gonna go around the corner. Come with me. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, you are a string cheese fiend. Why? I because I give you some when you come. Oh, how that. legit is that? We got Parker in the house. What's up, guys? He filmed the last Battle of the Sexes video. Did a great job. So today, we're gonna play some pickleball. But first, I need to change into my pickleball outfit. If you guys watch tennis. You'll notice they always got pretty cool outfits on. Generally, they're white. And I'm gonna be taking off this Gymshark Strength Collective Steve Cook line. That's a mouthful. Gymshark SC. That stands for both Steve Cook and Strength Collective. So I'm gonna be taking off this outfit and putting on my tennis outfit. What are you doing besides dancing? I am the black team. So I'm gonna keep these on. on. How do you feel about winning last week? Great. Did you think you were gonna win? I was pretty confident. How about this week? Not so confident. <laughs> I suck at pickleball and I have Wait. losing problems. But you're an athlete and she does have some serious losing problems, like needs help. All right, Welcome. let's get changed. It's on like Donkey Kong. Uh, what are you doing? What? Babe. Babe. What? We're not taking the truck. It's over 60 degrees out. <laughs> yeah, it's Polaris season. Let's get ready to tumble. Because I have tumbled over in one of these before. Yeah, like a couple months ago, I rolled one of these. But this is my all new and improved one. This thing's sexy, but I want to put some doors. Um, I got great wheels on it. I want to put an aftermarket cage. This one's not street legal. My other one was, but this one's a pretty good little grocery getter, huh? Babe, look at that ass. I don't even know if you got the best. Great. Just kidding. You do. I'm not even saying anything. most important parts about pickleball is stretching beforehand. Oh, what, are you doing? what are you doing? I'm stretching. You try not to... I can't do that. It really hurt my groin if I try to do that. One of the things I like to do that, that Morgan can't do though for one of my stretching is this. What are you talking about? Can you do that? Oh! <laughs> Why do I ever question my girlfriend's an athlete? Okay, one of the things that she can't do that I can do is this. No. No! I'm not backflipping. You yeah, you're jumping. You're gonna eat shit. Oh, am I? Yeah, your feet got to hit the net. <laughs> you know what? I can do it. Oh, your feet. Oh. Whoa! Parkour! So, these pickleball courts are about a mile from my house. They are constantly inundated with old people. 
older people. Like not my age, like in their 70s. Pickleball is one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing sport in America and it's not hard to see why. This is a game that doesn't take any real talent or skill, just kidding. If you're good at tennis or ping pong, you're gonna be pretty good at pickleball because basically it's like playing on a smaller tennis court. There's some rules though about it. When you serve, you gotta serve underhand. If you're starting off serving, you serve on the right side. Anytime your, your points are even, zero, two, four, six, you're gonna be serving on this right side. You have to do an underhand serve. None of this, can't do that. You gotta do an underhand serve. Then, the person on the other side has to let it bounce. When they return it, you have to let it bounce and then you can go up closer to the net. Which brings me to my next point. Coming up closer to the net, this is strategy. If you're trying to score points, a lot of people like playing at the nets. Now we're playing singles today, but you can play doubles. I'm not going over any of the doubles rules because they're it's a lot different, a lot different strategy. My strategy is I like to be up here at the net. I feel like it's, you know, with, with my 45 inch vertical, it's really hard to get that ball over me. Now, the biggest thing here is you can't step in to the kitchen. I literally can't cross this line and come up any closer to the net unless the ball bounces in here first. She hits it, boom, it barely bounces, then I can step in and I have to come back out. So that is the only time you can step into the kitchen. You have to get out of the kitchen otherwise. One of my secret tips for any beginners out there, you wanna either be back here playing, playing, or all the way up here playing. You don't wanna be in no man's land. No man's land, the ball's coming like at your knees. It's just weird. So you wanna either get that ball off the bounce back here or get it before it bounces up here. So you've practiced your dinking. You've practiced your baseline forehand and backhand. You've practiced your serve. Now, once you've advanced to the final step, now this may take months, even years. It's called the slam. I bounce first. Now, let's get to the equipment here. Babe, that's my paddle. We filmed that stuff already. That's my paddle. I'm sorry. This is an unfair it's advantage a... to you. It's okay, not about, well, here's it's the not thing. about the equipment you Real have. pickleball players play. You are. So I bought all this stuff to play pickleball, and then I went out once I got fairly good. Once I had the power to wield a carbon paddle, then I went out and bought it, and then my girlfriend stole it. So today I will be playing with Coco Pelli. That's this guy right here. I don't know why he's on the paddle, but this is a wood paddle. Um, fine to start out with. Eventually you're gonna wanna get one of those paddles. I'm giving it to Morgan today because she's gonna need all the help she can get. That's right, I said it. She's gonna need all the help she can get. Last time at gymnastics at Ninja Camp, I lost fair and squirrel. I lost fair and square. She beat me, but not, not today. Not today, Miss Maroney. Ball me, Parker, ball me. It's a wiffle ball. Plastic doesn't bounce like crazy, so this sport is all about agility, speed, power, accuracy, dinking and diving, zigging and zagging. We're gonna play best of three. Games go to 11. You can only get points when you serve, and you gotta win by two. Yes. Guys, we already know him. <laughs> 
very average pickleball player, but at least I'm holding my own. It's only 1-2. Usually it's about 14-0 right now. <laughs> For real. Yeah, that was the dink. The dink. Get him running. Get him running. Oh, get that car you with. <laughs> what is it? 2-8. 2 First serve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to dig deep. Got to dig deep. 2 eight, First serve. Hey! Did that scare you? Not really. But you sure the yell didn't scare you? Sensu. looking for some people to play doubles with because I think now little Morgan is ready to spread her wings and fly so I'm just gonna be mean mugging people until they challenge us. These people look pretty good. I've literally played like three times so <laughs> I'm not a threat. <laughs> We're not, no, no, no. No way, seriously, he just beat me like 111. Oh, that's yeah. easy to remember. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Morgan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice this is Parker nice behind the camera. Hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> We officially lost 11 to 0. So, um, we got we got some. I think we're gonna be out here every day for the next 30 days. <laughs> this is how she shows up to the pickleball courts. All the old people, I can hear them whispering, "Who is that?" Who? And I'm like, "She's from Australia." And then she's like this, and I'm like, "Babe." We don't do that here. People don't even do that in Australia. You can do that at home with the curtains closed, but you can't do it here in public. Australia. How did you think your first pickleball session went? Horrible. No, you did good. No. Like we'd played one other time before and no joke, it was probably the biggest fight we've had to date. It was the only fight we've had to date. Oh, we love each other. <laughs> Over pickleball, because he was just so hyped and yelling and being all happy and I was losing by like 10. All and I, I know, thought he was rubbing it in my face, but really he wasn't, he was just being happy. I just get happy when I play pickleball, except for <laughs> when we lose 11 to zero. But it's a, it's a learning experience. We came out here today, a little bit of humble pie. Did we just lose 11 to zero yeah. against that couple? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This video should really be called Steve trying to show off and then getting his ass beat by two people that they didn't even know. <laughs> Let us know what you guys want to see next time. Thank you for watching, as always. Try pickleball, it's an amazing sport. Well.